This is gonna be the best year ever. First thing we need to do, Terry, we need to get you a boyfriend. <laughs> It'll happen. Trust me. Uh, Terry, I am not a shoo-in. We won't even know if I'm president till the final vote is counted. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just need to have a shower and get dressed. Uh, oh no, not again. Uh, Terry, I've gotta go. All right, I'll see you at school, bye. Toby out. How do you know it's me? Could be your mom, could be my dad. They have their own bathroom. Then go use it. I just got here. Toby, come on, be reasonable. I have to get to school to put up my election posters. Aren't you the only one running? Toby, remember what Dr. Freed said? A generous attitude makes for a generous family. Now get out of the bathroom now! Toby, what will it take for you to open that door? Just say please. Please. Now say... Toby Isaacs is the coolest kid at Degrassi. Way, way cooler than any stupid grade eight could ever hope to be. Toby, I have to get something. Get what? Your hairbrush, your eyeliner, your training bra. Mom! Humor and she's a needaholic. Yesterday I left my gym socks on the couch. She freaked. Your gym socks can wreak something fierce. Hmm. Just because me and Dad move into their house, Ashley treats me like, like dirt, gum stuck on her shoe, all of the above. So, ready for day one of the rest of our junior high lives? What do you think? Dr. Freed says we need to work together and try to be more like siblings. You fight all the time, you can't stand the sight of each other. You're already acting like siblings. I mean, I don't mind his dad, Jeff, and I'm glad my mom's happy, but Toby, oh, he's everywhere. He's like a little mosquito that keeps buzzing in your ear. <laughs> hey, Ash, maybe when you're president, you can get him expelled. <laughs> yeah, for my life. Hey, guys. Haven't seen you all summer. How are you doing? Page? New year, new look, new page. You're putting up your campaign posters already? The election's on Friday. Wow, you'd rather focus on the issues than on your appearance. That's so admirable. There's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing but the grade eights. They're only a year older than us. Yeah, a whole year to think of ways to make us suffer. Hall pass. What? You're not allowed on school property without a hall pass. But we didn't get one. Then you'll both have to leave. But <laughs> we can't. It's the first day of school. Grade sevens are such geeks. Hey. Hi. And that's our homeroom? Cool. Hey, guys. Uh, sorry I'm late. Damn. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, just 
Choose your own seats for the time being. Okay, uh, welcome to Degrassi Community School. I'm Mr. Simpson, I'm your homeroom and media immersion teacher. And I gotta say, you guys really lucked out. I mean it. This is by far the coolest homeroom in the entire school. First order of business. These are the code of conduct forms concerning the computers and the internet. All right? I want to get this out of the way before we get to know one another. Some of you I know already, and a few of you are new faces altogether. Welcome. Gavin Reginald Mason. Um, I prefer spin. Mm-hmm. This year, am I gonna have to give you, what was it, another 14 detentions? Not if you don't want to. Okay, learning and good grades are all very important here at Degrassi but so is getting involved in the school. That's why I'm starting a spirit squad this year, Miss Kwan. We so need one. Great, Paige. It's so industrious of you. Um, and speaking of industrious, Ashley? Yes? Your first day of school and you already have a professional campaign underway? An excellent start. Thank you. Students are reminded that 3.15 today is the deadline for student council nominations. See, Manny, this isn't so bad, is it? As long as we don't run into that jerk again. Is that your stepsister? She's not my stepsister. We just happen to be stuck in a forced living arrangement. Well, I think she's pretty. Ashley hates that I live in her house. And she hates that I go to her school, which has obviously never heard of democracy. What are you talking about? This election. No one's even running against her. She's a shoe in Why don't you run? Because it would provoke a rupture in our fragile family dynamic. It's family counseling speak for my dad to kill me. So, get someone else to run. Yeah, right. Who'd want to run for student council? The whole thing's a joke. Did you say joke? No way, Toby. I'm not doing a joke campaign. Oh, come on, JT. It's the perfect way to stick it to Ashley. But this is my first day at Degrassi. Exactly. You're in the same boat as a large percentage of the student body, which is why they'll love you. Come on, JT. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. For you to stick it to Ashley? No. For you to practice your stand-up material on a large receptive audience. Keep talking. You want to be famous, right? This is instant fame. Just think. Assembly. The whole school hanging on your every word. And you'll do all the work? Deal. <laughs> here we are, right here. What if I win? Trust me, you don't stand a chance. The poster's a little low on the left. Just bring it. Ashley Kerwin, we haven't met. I'm Liberty Van Zandt, and I'm running for secretary. We're going to be a great team, just think. I'd like to discuss a few ideas so our policies will be in sync. First, I think we should tackle a lack of a school newspaper. Why don't we wait till after the election? Great. Um, your poster's a little high on the left. What was that all about? changes at the school, Terry, and not just superficial stuff. I want the students to feel heard. Uh, Ash, what is that? Hmm? Oh, a poster without your picture on it. J.T. York, that annoying little friend of yours. What's wrong, Ashley? Afraid of a little competition? You are so wasting your time. School president is always in eighth grade. Well, uh, this year that's gonna change. Hey, JT, why do you want to run for president? Why do I want to run for president? Uh, it's a good question. In one word, people, democracy, the backbone of our fine nation. Here, here. 
He is people, our great alternative. In a world dominated by cruel, selfish eighth graders, JT is our last shining hope. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Degrassi. A grade seven running for president? I wouldn't be caught dead voting for him. Besides, I think Ashley and I, Liberty Van Zant, will make an excellent team. If elected, I, JT York, will do what a real politician would do. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> and, like a true politician, I will accept bribes. People are actually paying attention to him? He's pretty funny. If you like the totally immature humor. You're not actually worried, are you? <laughs> no. I, JT York. Unknown, yes. unremarkable. Oh, personally, I think it's great. Grade sevens have just as much right to run for school president as anyone. I'm voting for JT. Greater representation on the school board. An updated recycling program. I'll even get us a night dance. All it costs is a vote. What about the staff in the washrooms? I'll bet you any money that they have soft toilet paper than us. <laughs> if you elect me, I'll make those staff washrooms our washrooms. So vote for JT. You'll do the right thing. I know you will. It's working. Vote for JT. It'll do you good. You'll love me. Nice to meet you. Toby Isaacs, you shrimp. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything. JT wants to run for president, so I'm helping him out. JT doesn't care about the school. How do you know? Guess what? Degrassi doesn't revolve around you. Anyone can run. The guy is an idiot, and he doesn't know anything because he just got there. Ashley? What's the problem? Oh, great. Take his side again. Don't even try to figure out what we're talking about. I mean, I put all my effort into this race. There was no race. Now there is. Toby, are you running against Ashley? No, his friend JT is. I'm helping my best friend run his campaign. What's wrong with that? What's wrong is he's only doing it to bug me. Come on, Ashley, I'm sure he's not. But Mom... Toby has every right to help run his best friend's campaign. <sighs> Today's the big day. Written your defeat speech yet? JT is not going to win. <laughs> you wish. Just think, you're about to lose to a seventh grader. Hi, my name's Paige, and of course Ashley's gonna win today. Sure, some students may resent her for being so perfect, but Ashley always gets what she wants, so why should today be any different? Actually, I'll tell you why today is different. See, I just got these brand new glasses, and I think they look rather nice with my outfit, don't you? Oh, and my belt. Please, we get a close on the belt. Thanks. Beautiful, eh? And my new purse, so everyone can see all that I own. What do I have in here? This? This isn't mine. Hello, I'm not done here. <laughs> look at this. You've got as much support as Ashley. It's just some stupid poll. This is before your speech. Forget Ashley, you're on the verge of making Degrassi history. Am I the only one excited here? I thought the plan was to make her sweat. <laughs> exactly. The closer you come to beating her, the sweatier she gets. Yeah, well, I'm getting pretty sweaty too. Because if I win this thing, I'm gonna have to do a lot of work. It would be tragic if Ashley lost today, but if she did, and if I, Liberty Van Zant, am elected as secretary, I will work closely with JT to ensure excellent standards of student government. Uh, hi. You're coming with us. What? What did I do? Like, I'm gonna be late for class. You're gonna be late for class. Here's the deal. You quit the race for school president, and I give you 50 bucks. 50 bucks? 5-0. Oh. 
Okay, 60. You see, I'd jump at that, but um, I've got this older brother. He just lost the race for school president. 65. My parents were shattered. They had to go on Prozac. I can't put them through that again. 80 bucks, and that's my final offer. 80's good. Glad to hear it. But for that amount, I want a show. I want you to quit in front of the whole school. At assembly? Cool, I still get to say my speech. Half now, the rest after. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Ms. President. I'll go now. And once the election's over, I head straight home. And avoid Spinner. Ow! <laughs> Now look what you've done. I was just kidding, Ray. Wow, that's so cool, Spinner. Making a grade seven girl cry. Look, I didn't mean to make her cry. Well, you did. Congratulations. <laughs> it's okay, Manny. He's gone. I knew it work. Always does on my brother. She bribed you? She paid me. It's wrong. Wrong? What about this whole campaign? What about it? We did this just to get back at your stepsister. She's not my stepsister. Would all candidates please come on the stage? Look, if it makes you feel any better, we'll split it. 50-50. I don't want her blood money. It's just helping Ashley get exactly what she wants. Again. In conclusion, I promise that if elected, I, Liberty Van Zandt, will fulfill my responsibilities as student council secretary with enthusiasm and even more enthusiasm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Liberty, for that enthusiasm. Next up are two candidates for school president. Each will have three minutes to deliver their speeches, and we will begin with J.T. York. gentlemen. It's a long year. You've got to vote for me. You need something to laugh at. <laughs> now, if I could just say a few words about my presidential platform, this speech would be a whole lot shorter, but seriously. If there's one thing that I've learned in my zero years of political experience, it's, well, that's nothing. What are the issues facing today's debate? You bribed JT. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I saw the money. That's corruption. Oh, how thrilling you learned a new word. Oh, you want thrilling? Wait till I go up on stage and tell everyone what you did. But JT took the money. No, he accepted it as evidence. You wouldn't. I will. I'm heading up there and telling everyone what a fraud Ashley Kerwin is. Fine. My life's a disaster anyway. It might as well get worse. Your life's a disaster? I want my mom to be happy, and I've tried to be nice. But the moment you moved in, everything became all about you. About me? Do you have any idea what it's like living in your house? Please. My mom dotes on you. She doesn't care what I feel, so long as you're happy. What? And now I can't get away from you. You're everywhere. At home, at school, even in my campaign. Oh, that's not true. I wanted just one thing that you couldn't take away from me. But you found a way. Please. Before you go up there and publicly humiliate me, just listen to my speech. Then decide if you don't think I deserve to be president. She's got the looks, she's got the brains, and she's got everything. Don't pity her, pity me. Thank you. Oh, um, by the way, I quit the race for school press. Vote Ash. Well, that's rather unexpected. JT, you sure? Oh, I think we would still like to hear what Ashley has to say. Yeah. Ashley? Yeah. Ashley? Yeah. We'll talk later. Please. Ashley. 
Oui. No way. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm not lying. Yeah, right. Well, thanks, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Congratulations, Miss President. So, is this what defeat looks like or just guilt? Congratulations, Ashley. Yeah, whatever. I mean it. Congratulations. You, you deserve to win. Okay. What have you done with the real Toby Isaacs? It's my fault JT's in trouble for running the Joe campaign. I shouldn't have put him up to it. You're right, you shouldn't have. Ash, I'm trying to apologize here. I knew it would drive you crazy. I just couldn't stop myself. You hate me that much? Sometimes. I gotta admit, sometimes I feel the same way about you. The fact is, Toby, we have to live with each other. In the same house, and that sucks, right? Didn't say that again. But does it have to suck this much? Maybe not. Maybe not. Are we bonding here? Bonding? Us? Well, for the first time in a month, I don't want to rip your eyes out. Wow. Dr. Freed would be so proud.